Hi guys, in this session we're going to be looking at factorizing perfect squares and difference of two squares. Okay, so to get started, here's a question. Now, this is no different to what you did with factorizing quadratics. Um, and if you are happy with that, you will know that two numbers that multiply to 25 and add to 10, that's 5 and 5. Now, so if, if you had done that before, you kind of will write it up, write this up as you've got x plus 5 and x plus 5 and well that's basically it but you can almost simplify this uh, just one step further because we can write this as x plus 5 squared all right so it's really important that you start recognizing um, patterns with numbers and once you once you start recognizing these patterns uh, questions generally tend to become uh, well factorizing becomes a lot more easier so here's another example. If I give you something like x squared plus 14x plus 49. Now here, again, you know, knowing your square numbers is a good idea. So that's like where you have 4, because 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and so on. So you can kind of see that 49, well, that's going to be 7 squared, and 7 plus 7 is 14. So straight away, you can write this as x plus 7 whole squared. Now, this is factorizing perfect squares. However, when we get to difference of two squares, I'm going to show you in the next slide, is when you get a question like this, x squared minus 9, and you've got to factorize this. Now, just remember, if I was, I'm going to write this in a slightly different way. So if I was to write this, x squared plus 0x minus 9. Okay, now I've written 0x there is because there's a, there's a reason why I wrote 0x, because what I want you guys to do is, I want you guys to think about this. What two numbers, okay, what two numbers will multiply to negative 9 and add up to 0? So you're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 9 and add up to 0. So you're looking at positive 3 and minus 3. So in other words, when I factorize this, I'm going to have this as x plus 3 and x minus 3. Because positive 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. And positive 3 plus negative 3 is going to be 0. So that kind of works out. So... And again, this goes back to the idea of knowing your square numbers. So if I give you an example like this, x squared minus 49, I know that 49 is um, 7 squared. So I can factorize this as x minus 7 and x plus 7. Or if I was to put another variable in there, so let's say if I have it something like a squared minus b squared, then this would be a plus b multiplied by a minus b. That's what factorizing this would look like. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. Uh, any questions, pop it in the comments. Thank you for watching.